guys, I thought I would pop on and share my March favourites as well now in April. Shockingly enough, don't know how that happened. Um, I thought I would start with some skincare items that I've been trying out that I've been really, really liking. The first one is by Organic Surge. Now, I've spoken about Organic Surge on my channel a lot, um, but they are launching a new anti-aging extra care range. And this is kind of the star product of the range. It is the um, anti-aging brightening hot cloth cleanser. Uh, rejuvenate, condition and protect and they will be releasing quite a few new products in this particular line but this is the first one I believe that's kind of um, available to buy and I've been using this must have been using it for a month and it is fabulous I am not really one for kind of cream based cleansers um, I actually have run out my eye makeup remover the Nivea Extra Care the Biophase one and this has been so good at taking off eye makeup, I actually haven't really bothered to repurchase the Nivea just yet. I keep meaning to, but then I kind of think, oh, well, you know, that does a good job. It really does a fantastic job of getting rid of eye makeup, which is kind of the thing that I always struggle with with cleansers. Um, they never get rid of the eyeliner or mascara for me, and I do wear a lot of eye makeup, as you can see today. So, even though with some cleansers I think, well, they're really nice on the rest of my skin. For my eye makeup, they're just they're just rubbish. But this one is actually fantastic. Another skincare product, but this is kind of like a makeup product as well that I've been trialing this month, and I have, I believe, been using it nearly a month, very nearly. And it's by Monu. Now I have spoken about Monu on my channel before. I've tried um, a few of their moisturisers. I've tried their tinted moisturiser, which is just lovely. Uh, and this is their First Defense Illuminating Primer with SPF 15. It's soft with soft focus technology for all skin types. And this is the strangest thing because I was kind of expecting this to be a bit lackluster. I mean, you know, it's kind of like a cream primer. However, this stuff is like Max. Oops, that's way too much. But I'll show you what I mean. It's like Max Strobe Cream. So it looks like that. And if I just rub it in, <laughs> you will see what I mean. It is pretty intense. The kind of glow it gives is pretty intense. It's just, yeah, you can see it there. I've used far too much. But what I like to do with this, because it is a um, makeup primer, is I like to kind of um, target this on the high points of my face, like my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose, before I put my foundation on. Um, because it just even though I've put my foundation over the top of it, it just gives this fantastic glow through the uh, makeup. This is kind of a skincare item, but it's also kind of makeup. Um, I kind of like things that uh, do two jobs at once. This is by Cosmetics Alacar, and this is actually um, something that I Feet, I have, I, well, I did feature it, but I didn't use it in the kind of tutorial review that I did of their products. And it is their um, Skin Veil Skin Perfector and Primer. And this is really interesting. I didn't use it the first time because I thought, it comes with a little sponge, but I haven't used that. I thought it would be kind of like a foundation. As you can see, it is, um, it's it's kind of like a, a cream foundation. This is the shade Vanilla. But actually, when you put it on, it's not like that at all. I've actually been putting this kind of as a pore minimizer and kind of up here, um, just around the center of my face. And it has this wonderful kind of blurring, filling in effect. I don't know how they do it. I really don't understand. But if I just swatch it for you, it does kind of come up a little bit, you know, it's kind of come up a little bit tinted, but then when you rub it in, it actually doesn't look like anything at all. It's very, very strange. So it's there, you can see. And if I just rub it in, it just kind of disappears. The pigment disappears, but it, you still have the effect of it. It still is kind of pore filling, um, pore minimizing. It's a really lovely product. It's quite pricey, I believe, but I can I can definitely see how this would be fantastic if you don't actually want to wear uh, a full face of makeup. You just put this on, and it kind of does the job. It adds a little bit of a tint, but not too much. Um, and it just, it fills in pores like an absolute dream. It's just fantastic. So I have been really liking using that. Two hair products, uh, both by the John Frieda Frizzies range. I've been trying these as well. I'll start with my favorite of the two. Uh, this is the Nourishing Oil Elixir with Argan Oil. Nourishes and smooths uh, for twice the frizz fighting power. This is lovely, I really, really like this. I've been using this just on the ends of my hair. Um, a lot of oils kind of make my hair very, very greasy, even though I only kind of put them right on the ends, they kind of travel up the hair and it's 
yeah they don't usually like my hair but this is actually very very nice it is very smoothing um you know i do have a natural kind of kink in my hair so it is very smoothing it does get rid of that and also what i like about this is you can just put a tiny little bit kind of on your fingertips and it deal with flyaways just like that without it kind of soaking your hair in oil so i do like that from john frida they've released um i believe it was last month a whole new kind of range for their frizzies products so i really like I really like the nourishing oil look, so I believe this is about six pounds. And then the other product from John Frieda is the Go Curlier 48 Hour Curls Heat Activated Spray. So it says create several smooth curls that last for up to 48 hours, and it looks like this. Kept it in the box. I don't know why. I just quite like the box. Um, and the thing you do with this, you don't put it on dry hair, you put it on damp hair or wet hair, and then you blow dry and you use your kind of styling tools or whatever you want to do with it. And it, as it says, it is actually heat activated. This stuff makes my hair massive um it kind of makes it just a bit wild i have to say so i'm kind of like saying like wow so if you have kind of flat hair um i would definitely recommend this and especially if it's got like a kink or a curl in it i think um this stuff is pretty major in that respect it's it gives you huge hair bit of an odd product to talk to you about but i really like this as well obviously because it's many of my favorites um this is the wet brush and it looks like this and isn't it pretty? It's blue. I love it. They come in all sorts of different colours. Now this is funny really because um, I saw this in uh, Samantha Sherman's, one of her Sunday sizzles and fizzles and um, she had a pink one and she said that it was the only thing that got rid of the tangles and um, kind of the knots in her hair. Now I don't have any more particularly knotty hair. I think my hair is quite manageable but when I was younger I had terribly knotty hair I think as all kind of uh, little girls do but when I was younger um, my hair has been a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. So um, it's a shame they didn't have something like this when I was younger. However um, I was intrigued when she said it was like the best hairbrush she'd ever used. It's kind of a strange claim really because it is just a hairbrush but some of them are really quite damaging on your hair. Now this is like this is like a whole new patented thing. It's actually like they're kind of flexi bristles. I think that's what they call them. And they don't all move in the same way or the same direction when you brush your hair. They kind of move in different um, different directions. So it kind of helps to um, decrease the tangles more easily without kind of tugging on them. And you are actually supposed to use this on wet hair. That's the whole point of it. It's why it's called the wet brush. But I love this. Three lip products that I have been reaching for constantly. Uh, the first one I have just featured in my uh, springtime pop makeup tutorial where I featured a lot of things from Fragrance Direct. This is one of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers. This one is in Luna um, and it looks pink in the tube but when you put it on your lips it's this beautiful peach colour. I, oh my goodness, I absolutely adore this. Um, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day since I got it and kind of doing my eye makeup around it because it's such a beautiful shade. It's very unusual, but it was a shade that I've been looking for uh, many years ago before I discovered Max Vegas Vault. Um, it was a shade I was looking for in the drugstores that I just couldn't find. Everything was too pink. I wanted like a straight peach. And this is absolutely a straight peach. It's lovely. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of uh, peach enough to cancel out the natural pigmentation in my lips, which is fab. So I think these are about five or well, I think about six pounds. They're fantastic. And then two other lip products just quickly that I uh, also featured recently in tutorial, but if you didn't watch that video then you wouldn't have seen them. It's the uh, Burberry Lip Mists. These, um, oh my god, these are fabulous. These are like a go-to shade because I wear a lot of eye makeup and if I cannot decide on a lip colour or match my lip colour suitably, I just throw on one of these. So the first one I have is in uh, Cinnamon 201. And it looks like this. They look very dark, but if you've tried the lip mists, you know that they are actually very sheer, which I like, but you can build them up, and they're just beautiful. They're like plumping lipstick balms in one. They're fab. And the other one is Two of Fortress Chestnut, which once again, what are we talking about? Which once again looks very dark, but not on the lips. It just comes out kind of rosy. So I really like these. They're fab, and they're, you know, they're burgundy. I love the packaging. I love the packaging, they're magnetic. So yeah, Burberry, you can get those all over the place. They're about 23 pounds, I believe. Quite pricey, but I think they're worth it. And then one kind of random, it's not beauty related, but this I've just discovered, it's the Metcalf's Skinny Top Corn. 
and this one is in sweet and salt so it's actually like a mixture of kind of sweet popcorn and salty popcorn and I just adore these. I actually discovered these in, um, I mean I'd heard about them but I actually discovered these in Poundland like last week and pretty much have eaten the entire stock that they have so I hope they don't stop selling them because that would be a real shame. It was just one of those things I'd never really seen them anywhere like Sainsbury's and I'm sure in the bigger Sainsbury's they sell them. So I kind of walked into town on the other day and they had a huge kind of display of them. So I thought, well, you know what? I may as well give them a try and I'm absolutely addicted. I haven't tried any other flavours yet. I know they do like a hot one. Um, well, they do all sorts of different flavours, but um, yeah, the one I've seen is kind of like the spicy one. I'd quite like to try that. But what I like is that they are just popcorn. They're not like glazed in sugar or, you know, like butter kissed now is. You know, it's kind of got like a caramel coating on it. Like, I don't like that, I hate that. So it's, this is just like the popcorn that you get at the cinema. So I'm very pleased about that. And not that it matters to me, but they are only 78 calories, which is why they're kind of skinny, if you like. That's why they uh, are kind of, you know, better for you, I suppose. So those are my favorites, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment and I'll leave everything I mentioned listed down below. So yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye everyone.